Hello my friendly shoppers and welcome back. This is Gina and this is my shopping life. I hope everyone's having a great weekend so far because, well, the pumpkins are coming. We still have more pumpkin items, but a lot of the pumpkin items are here. Very excited. It's probably one of the best times of the year here at Trader Joe's, especially during the fall. Now the sweet chili mango salad, this is a complete salad kit for $3.99. That sounds so good. I'm definitely picking that up today. I do need some carrots. These are one of my favorites because they bake up so well. $4.29. I just placed them in the oven for 400 degrees for 20 minutes and oh, they're so good. The snack pack. It's the pita chips with the hummus. This used to be $1.99, but I'm still going to get it. I like to have these once in a while. Now, I don't think I've seen this one before. Chunky artichoke and jalapeno dip. Well, I'm definitely picking that up. $3.99. And here we go. Oh, this is so fun. Okay, we have our pumpkin gnocchi. Oh, that looks good with a nice butter sauce. That's $2.99. And I love how they say it's Trader Joe's seasonal item. And then over here for $4.99, it's the classic. The gluten-free, the pumpkin ravioli. That's a good one as well. And of course, right next to it, for $3.99, we have our honey roasted pumpkin ravioli. Again, I like these with the butter sauce and a little Parmesan cheese. We have a new sauce, sweet potato habanero hot sauce, $2.99. Pizza sauce for $1.99. I think I'm gonna grab the pizza sauce. That actually sounds really good. We have some new coffee, Java of the Gods. $9.99. Oh, this is new. Now, the bourbon vanilla flavoring, not exactly new, it's seasonal, but alcohol free. That's a new version. Over here, we have chili seasoned dried mango. Oh, that sounds really good. Unfortunately, no price for either one of them. The crunchy pops. Oh, those sound good. $2.49 and freeze dried tart cherries for $3.99. We also have our pumpkin spice latte for $2.99. It's cold brew. It's already cold. You could drink that right now if you wanted to. We also have overnight oats and apple and in pumpkin. All of our fun pumpkin items. Those are $1.99 each. And the pumpkin cream cheese for $2.49. Now, the signs, again, I'm loving that the signs are orange, so they really stand out. So if you're wondering what is new, what is seasonal, you really don't have to do too much guesswork. And let me know if that's at your store. I know Trader Joe's, the signage is different at every store. The cheese, oh, cinnamon cheese? Okay, that actually sounds really good. $10.99 per pound. As we know, some of the cheese is sold per item and per pound. So this one's $5.28. But this cheese sounds really good too. With apples and pears, $11.99. I'm actually going to pick this one up. How much is this one? I want to get a small one because I haven't tried it before. $7.07. Let me see if I can find a smaller one. Here we go. And if you want to know the latest here at Trader Joe's, what is new, please hit that subscribe button and join our fun shopping community. I love shopping at Trader Joe's, one of my favorite stores. We have our Witch's Brew for $7.99. We also have a Pumpkin Spice Chardonnay for $6.99. Now, if you have had any of those, love to hear your feedback in the comments below. And any of the items we shared today, the pumpkin spice cream liqueur for $8.99. And again, everyone, thank you so much for all of your support. Our teas, the seasonal item, our pumpkin spice, the Rubio's tea, and the harvest tea for $2.49. I'm actually going to pick up the harvest tea. That is a favorite. That one should be here all year long, in my opinion. Some of these teas, some of these products should be. This pumpkin walks into a bar. It's hiding back here, $2.49. Our pumpkin O's, like the pumpkin Cheerios, $2.99. Of course, this is Trader Joe's. And our pecan pumpkin oatmeal, $3.79. I tried that last year, it wasn't for me. But the apple granola for $3.99. 
That sounds really good. Their granola here at Trader Joe's is so good. And how cute is this? This is the Fall Candle Trio. Autumn leaves, maple, sugar. I love the copper tins. And spice chai. That would make such a great gift. $10. We also have our Woodland Scented Candle for $3.99. That sounds good. Vanilla Pumpkin. I just saw that. But those are $3.99. The seasonal orange candle and spritz duo for $5.99. This would make such a great gift. Oh, I'm definitely going to pick that one up. Our pumpkin biscuits, even for the dogs, $4.29. Now, I haven't seen this before. The pumpkin and spice the snickerdoodle cookie kit. Oh, that sounds delicious. I may have to try those soon, but this is the one I'm definitely picking up. The bread and muffin mix. I always pick up a couple because, yeah, just add eggs, oil, and water. It cooks up so easy and it's so good. They're organic pumpkin in a can. This should be here all year long, honestly. I'm going to pick that one up. Sometimes they have one that's not organic, but that's the only one I see today. So here's our prices. The cookies, $3.99. The canned pumpkin, $2.49. And the bread, $3.49. Even hand cream. I haven't seen hand cream before. $4.99. Now, the pumpkin body scrub or the butter. I'm only finding the scrub. Oh, I think the butter was right next to it, but they're $4.99. There was a lot of people around me, so I'm trying to move pretty fast. Now, with all the heat that we're having, I definitely need more sunscreen. $8.99. I love that one. And down at the bottom, we have our seasonal apple cider hand soap foaming. And then, of course, a vanilla pumpkin for $3.99, the hand soap. I'm actually going to pick this one up. My last foaming uh, bottle broke, so it makes me a little bit nervous, but I'm sure I'll get one again. Now, the alcohol-free was $7.99. Now, the bourbon vanilla extract, that has been here before. I did pick one up, so I still have that bottle. Cinnamon sticks, ground ginger, ground nutmeg, pumpkin pie spice. I need to go through my spices and see what I need. So I think I'm going to wait on those. More of the canned pumpkin. So we saw these in the front, but the pancake waffle mix, $3.99. So that's the regular. And right below it, we have our gluten-free pumpkin bread and baking mix and the gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. I love that there's two options. And those are $4.99. So they're still setting everything up. And two pack bourbon vanilla beans. $2.99. Where are those? Um, I don't see those yet. I want to definitely pick those up when I see them. Cinnamon bun, blondie bar, the baking mix for $3.99. Okay, as we can see, they're starting to set up items. The caramel, the baking chips, and the marshmallows. Oh, I really want to try the marshmallows for $2.99. The whippy cream for $1.69. I didn't know that was seasonal. Almond paste for $3.99. And even the cornbread mix, $3.49. I'm going back to the almond paste. That actually looks really interesting. Some of these items I didn't realize were seasonal. Cinnamon bun spread for $3.99. The pumpkin butter for $2.99. But the organic maple butter for $4.99. I'm actually going to try this one. That actually sounds really good. And our harvest, our autumn harvest pasta sauce for $3.99. That has returned. Now this is new. I don't remember seeing these before. The seasonal, or no. My apologies. The savory squash pastry bites, 12 of them. Oh, that sounds delicious. $5.49. We're definitely going to take that home and try it. I always love the little appetizers, but these pastry bites with the feta cheese and caramelized onions, those are so good. $5.49, same price. And our maple leaf cookies. Now, these are here all year long. $3.99. And their graham crackers, $3.49. Making s'mores, those are good. I do need some apples, $3.99.
This just saves me some time. Now the Spindrift 749 with orange and mango. Oh, that sounds delicious. I'm actually gonna pick this one up. It is a little pricey, but I'm gonna try it out. And they're plants, all oh, right. How adorable are these? $5.99 with the mirror ball. We have copper or silver with the succulents. Those are so pretty. You can't just buy one. You have to get both of them, right? <laughs> and the lady brought me the flavored marshmallows because I was asking about those. So we're going to pick those up as well. So here is our little haul. And we're going to take some of these items home and we're going to try them out. But first, I do need some half and half for $1.99. We're going to make a pumpkin spice latte. Okay, here's everything here. Let's check out. And let's see if I can stay under $100. <laughs> Sometimes that's hard at Trader Joe's. All right, we're home. It wasn't $100. It was $110. So close. But here's some of the items, some of the new items. We're going to try most of them as well. So let's see what we start with first. The pumpkin, the vanilla pumpkin hand soap. And then we also have our orange spice scented candle. So, of course, we're not going to taste test these no but we are gonna try them out that room spritz that actually sounds really good here's some of the ingredients definitely want to check them out especially if you have any allergies now the candle it smells really good orange and spice and then the room spritz i just kind of sprayed it on the napkin to test it out it's very light sometimes some of these could be overpowering i really like that one but the scented candle, that one is really great. Now the soap, the top, I could not get it open. I tried and tried for like 15 minutes, tried to get it open. Sometimes those tops, sometimes they just don't work. Luckily, I do have a spare. I will keep a couple of working ones um, in my laundry room. I have like a little jar and so Luckily, I had it. I had to clip the bottom, but it fits and it works perfectly, I think. It fits perfectly. Let's try it out in the sink. It actually smells really good. Yeah, that works perfectly. So sometimes if you have those working pumps, I would suggest to save a couple. But the Orange Spice, that would make such a great little gift. Now we're going to start off with the Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. Caffeine-free. But it sounds so good. My electric kettle, this is from Sir La Tom. Actually, I purchased this one from Costco. Now, I do have one in my Amazon storefront. Costco is $30, Amazon is $40, but it's a really great one because you can adjust the temperature and I like it. It works so fast. So if you don't have a membership or your Costco is out and you're wanting one, it's a really great item to have. So, of course, you know, they are connected, but they come apart really easy. And the bag inside is resealable. So my tea is done. I'm going to pour it right inside. And we're just going to let that steep for a few minutes. We're going to add just a little bit of honey. And again, the honey and my cup, those are all in my Amazon storefront, even the spoon. But it looks beautiful, that beautiful amber color. And so inside is cinnamon, ginger, hibiscus, chamomile, roasted chicory, orange peel, and apple flavor. What a great combination. So we're just going to take a little sip. It smells so good. And I just took a little sip because it's still hot. Wow, that is so good. So if you like tea, especially one that's caffeine free, definitely give that one a try if you have it. So I got too excited and I immediately opened up that artichoke and jalapeno dip and it had a few bites. It is so good. I had it cold, but I bet you could warm it up as well, but so good. And the flavored marshmallows. I like how small the bag is. So we're gonna try them out. Wow, those are actually really good. I'm not usually huge on marshmallows. I'm a little picky on my marshmallows, but those were really good. I like the flavor, not overly sweet. So we're gonna try the organic maple butter. I have my toast. So you can see the syrup on top. So I'm just going to mix it up. My husband wants to try it as well. That was a hit. That was really good. Again, not overly sweet as I was expecting. I really like the flavor. 
I may have to pick up another one before the season ends. The savory squash pastry bites. I'm gonna cook these in the oven. They cooked up really easy. So I just placed it in the oven, 400 degrees. I baked it for about 14 minutes, but less tasty because they smell really good. Oh, this is a perfect little appetizer and it is delicious. I'm definitely gonna grab a few because those are seasonal. I still have a couple of the peach tarts from Trader Joe's in my freezer because those are so good as well. They don't have them anymore, but I'm definitely gonna grab more of those because wow, those are delicious. All right, we are going to make a pumpkin spice latte and we're gonna do it with the Trader Joe's, their capsules. And then of course I have my milk frother. I do have this on my Amazon storefront. I like this one because you can adjust, you know, how you want it cold or warm. And the best part is that it will keep your milk warm for 30 minutes. Okay, so this one you could kind of eyeball, you know, just kind of, you know, if you want more pumpkin, you could add more pumpkin. So I'm just gonna start off a little bit small, but yeah, just the pumpkin itself, nothing artificial are half and half. I'm going to add a little bit of that in there. And then I'm also going to add the bourbon vanilla extract. Now, if you want to add sugar to it, you can. Your favorite sweetener. You can even add honey if you want to. So I have it in here. I do want to warm it up. So I'm going to place it in my frother and I'm actually going to warm it up. But the frother, if you just want it to froth and not warm, you could do that as well. So I like the options. It's so easy to use and so easy to clean. So yeah, thick, warm foam. So I'm just gonna, as that's going, we are going to make our coffee. So I wish the capsules weren't plastic, but for $3.99, you're getting 10 of them. It's still pretty good. So it's one of those days I'm actually gonna grab two. <laughs> I'm gonna make a double. So as my coffee is brewing, this is just about done. All right, so I got my coffee. Gonna pour that in and of course my milk. Now I did sprinkle a little bit of clove on top. I do need some nutmeg, so I'm gonna pick that up next time. There are more pumpkins arriving here at Trader Joe's. This is like the best time of year. So everyone, thank you so much for coming along to Trader Joe's with me. If you wanna do some more shopping, we have some great suggestions right here. Again, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later.